Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. I love to talk about crochet. I am just about anything related to crochet, yarn, you name it. And I can talk for hours. All right, um, let's go ahead and get started. Grab you something to drink. I am just drinking black coffee. Um, I used to put sugar in it at one time and um, creamer, the flavored creamer. And I probably could still do the flavored creamer, but um, I kind of weaned myself off the sugar in it. And then I weaned myself off the creamer. And honestly, I really don't know why I weaned myself off the creamer. The creamer was really good, um, especially the flavored ones. Oh my gosh, I used to get the, uh, especially during the holidays, all the fancy flavors. Yeah, I'm just about talking myself into buying some of those again. <laughs> we got the holidays coming up. Um, yeah, who knows? But I like the kind of creamers that come where you pull the tab on them. Um, sometimes I'll buy the kind that you keep in the refrigerator and you uh, squirt some in your drink. I do those sometimes, um, especially the Christmas ones. You know, but I really like the tab, pull the tab. I used to buy a big box of them off of Amazon. Yeah, that's how much I love those creamers. Okay, let's just get off the coffee. Um, I want to show you an update on my doll, Crochet Along. It's for next week. Uh, it should be Monday through Friday. Uh, let's see, Monday will be the head and body. Tuesday will be the legs and arms. Um, Wednesday will be the wigs. Thursday will be the clothes. So that may be all it is. It may just be a four day crochet along and you'll have a doll and you can make tons of them. That's what's so fun about it. Well, here's the doll and she is sporting the pink hair today. <laughs> I, uh, I love the pink hair. I just think it's adorable. But in this tutorial, I will show you how to make curly cues for the doll, how to make um, braided hair for the dolls, and little fuzzy bangs for them. And I will even show you how to make these kind of bangs and little buns. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty excited about this. I hope you guys are too. The uh, fun thing is about this, my sister Tanya had been on to me for over a year now to uh, make this doll. And I finally broke down and did it. And I'm so excited that I did because I've been having so much fun with this. And um, I decided I love making wigs for my 18 inch dolls. So I decided, well, why not make the doll um, with different types of hair? So I made it where you can take her hair off like this and you can interchange her and she can have different kinds of hair. Let's see, uh, let's see how cute the little bun looks. She kind of reminds me of a granny. <laughs> <laughs> little greeny hairstyle, but I thought for a little ballerina, you know, this would be real cute, and I like this somewhat if um, we can change that up a little bit, and it would look kind of like a boy hairstyle, so anyway, uh, the other thing, oh yeah, the other thing is these clothes that I'm making, that I will show you how to make for this doll, are actually the same pattern that is for my 14-inch dolls, so if you make this doll, and you make the outfit that's in the tutorial, and you're like, well, I like that, I want some more. Go to my um, adoringdollclothes.com, and I have tons of patterns for 14 inch dolls, and they will fit this doll. So the little ballerina outfit that I have, I think would look real cute with this right here. Oh, and I thought, which I didn't bring it over here, that um, you could also make a bun, and you could put some of these curly cues down at the bottom. Uh, they don't have to be, as long as these right here, you can make them shorter. 
Um, you can even make them with a smaller hook and have some little curly cues hanging from the uh, from her bun. So I thought that would be real cute. All right, well, I'm ex super, ex super excited about that. I can't wait to get that started next week. The videos are all done except for the um, outfit. And I'm going to work on that today. And they are edited. Um, they're not uploaded to YouTube yet, but they're in queue for me to do. So, yeah, I'm on the ball on this thing, guys. I'm so excited. Going to be a lot of little dolls handed out for Christmas this year. Um, and birthday gifts and whatever, you know. Okay, so I told you yesterday that I was working on the cardigan with Alyssa from Llama Unraveled Crochet. So I did work on that one a little bit yesterday. And I have the back side made. And then here's one of the front panels. So I have it almost made. Let's see, I need 12 triangle rows. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need four more of the triangle rows. And once I get those, I can start on my second panel. And then um, I will be putting this thing together. So I'm super excited about that. I thought I would share where I got the yarn. This is from, it's ice yarn. It is from yarnnut.com. It's from Gia. She actually is sponsoring this project that we're doing. So she has provided the yarn and a cool yarn bag to keep this in. So thank you so much for that, Gia. We appreciate that. But uh, you can buy these. It's Baby Summer DK. It's about 115 yards in it. And it's a three-way, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And the last time I looked, they were like um, $1.75 a skein. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good. And um, I think when I ordered my baby yarn, it was $9.45 shipping and handling. Um, guys, that's a good price for shipping and handling. If you went to Hershner's, their shipping is almost 14 bucks. So I thought this is a... $9.45 was a good price for shipping. And I'm not having to go to the store and pick this up and buy it. I would, I mean, think about it. Some of us pay $10 or more to have our groceries delivered. Why not, why complain about shipping? Why complain about shipping for yarn that we don't even have to get out of our house to go get? It just comes straight to our door. <laughs> so um i'm one of those that i am okay with shipping i love free shipping coupons don't get me wrong i love them and i try to do as much as i can to get the lowest price that i can get when i do my yarn but i do that with all my shopping it doesn't have to just be my yarn shopping it is literally all my shopping um i won't even Kohl's is my favorite store to shop at i won't even shop or buy anything there unless i have coupons i mean that's just the way i am <laughs> okay, might as well call me the coupon lady because I guarantee you I use them. And let's see what I have. Um, oh, yeah, the Granny Afghan, I showed this yesterday. That's what I'm working off of. Oh, yeah, for the cardigan with Alyssa, I am using a K hook for that. That is a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm also using a K hook for this one. This hook, by the way, if you're interested in some handmade hooks, ceramic hooks, are made by Brenda the Newbie Crocheter. She custom makes these hooks. And she makes the, this um, ceramic where it's up high and then also where they're down lower. So she makes two styles of these. Um, and this style she makes for me because my finger rests right there on that. And that's, that's the way I crochet, like real tight like that. Now, some people, their thumb rests way back here. And so she has this where it's lower. So yeah, she will custom make you a hook. And I believe they're about 20 bucks, I think. And um, she'll ship them out to you. <laughs> anyway, I love these hooks from her. And she makes them any color you want. So I have just about a whole set of these. And I have them um, in all different colors. So that's pretty cool. All right, so the colors that, uh, the granny squares that I did yesterday, I worked my little rear off yesterday, but here's what I have. And um, I've got four of each, one, two, three, four. So we have four of that color. We have four of this. 
And we have four of this. Yeah, that's all I have right now. <laughs> and what I am working on this afternoon is these four right here. And it says I need rust and beige. So I have to add a rust color to it and then two rows of the beige. And then those will be done. So I'm, I'm, hopefully I will get these done today. I do have filming to do on the doll outfit. And let's see. On this one, it says brown and beige. I may do a, uh, a dark gray on this. I'm not sure. Because I do have a brown and gold already in here so i may change this color up but i have these four to do and yes i have a sticky note to remind me of the colors and then this one is a dark gray that i still need and a peach and then the beige so i have three sets is all i have left and then i have all my big granny squares ready to put together to put on the blanket and i think let's see yeah, once I get the big granny squares on, it looks like I probably only have maybe two or three rows that I go around. Can you see that? Once the granny square is on there, it looks like there's just a couple of granny, granny stitches going around the trim. And then this baby is done. I'm so excited over this blanket. Um, I showed it yesterday, but let's go ahead and look at it again, right? I mean, it is that pretty. <laughs> Make sure I got the right side. Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think this is the right side. Pretty good when you can't tell. But there it is again. And so all I got to do is add those big granny squares all around the edge. And then uh, do, just do a couple of these rows like this right here. It's what it looks like. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm super excited to be this close to being finished. I will have me a uh, farmhouse granny afghan. <laughs> Who knows? I may go ahead and do the chicken. If I do the chicken, that means um, I have a this thing in my dining area. It's a white bench. It's a, like, really old bench, and I painted it white. And it has rustic looking um, hardware on it. So I may fold this over the bench and then make that pillow and have the pillow sitting in the bench. I don't know. I may end up doing that. I think that'd look really cool. Help bring in the um, country look, you know, for the dining area. I really have no, I mean, I have a big cow, a big picture of a, a huge picture of a cow in the dining area. And, um. I really just don't really decorate too much in the dining area. All I have is that bench and a table and chair set. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, on the floor there's a food bowl for the dogs and water bowl. But yeah, so I'd probably need to fix that area up some. Now it's time to look at the Hershner's deal. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a Worsted 8 Holiday Square Throw that I ordered off Hershner's. Here it is right here. And it looks like it's just some granny squares. That's what it looks like to me. That's why I ordered it. I thought, well, I can handle that. Another granny square one? Yeah. And I probably could have just ordered my own yarn and made this myself just by looking at it. But, you know, I would just rather buy the kit. And ha that way the yarn is already there. I'm not having to go to the store, buy my yarn, and do all that stuff. So, yeah, sometimes I just like buying kits because it's just all there for me. Um, I struggle with trying to figure out colors and stuff like that anyway. So, if the kit's going to have my yarn in it, that's a win-win for me. <laughs> okay, so it comes with a yarn needle and this little tag right here that says, Made especially for you by, and then I guess you're supposed to put your name in there, and then it says Hershner's Quality Needle Crafts. Since... $18.99. <laughs> okay, what I paid for this was I paid um, $24.99 for the kit, $12 for shipping, 
$3.28 for tax. I got a $2.50 discount because um, I'm in their discount club. And uh, the total amount of the order is $37.76. So I paid $37 for this holiday square throw. I think that's pretty good. Less than 40 bucks for a blanket. So here's my yarn that it came with. And I know this yarn is not the softest yarn in the world, but uh, I have heard that it washes up really good. Oh, and it came in this nice cool bag to keep the blanket in. But yeah, I heard that it, this kind of, this type of yarn here, that it does wash up good. So, but it is not the best filling yarn in the world. So I'm going on what I've heard about washing it. It says it's 100% acrylic, uh, machine wash and dry, made in China. It's medium four weight. It is 447 yards. It says a full eight ounce ball, worsted at eight. But yeah, so there's the um, holiday colors that you get. Let's see if it even says what color it is. Christmas. <laughs> it's called Christmas. All right, the green is called um, emerald. So there's the green. I like this green. And then the red is called true red. And then there it is. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, when I saw it, I was like, that looks like something I could manage because all I'm doing is just making a bunch of squares in the different colors that they show. And then I thought that the, the uh, border was really pretty. Um, trying to figure out, it looks like the same type of border that's on my Afghan, my granny, my farmhouse Afghan, except it has a little twist to it at the top. So yeah. Anyway, so I think I could handle that. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and end this cool video with our 365 days of prayer. It says, humble help. If another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. That's Galatians 6, 1 in the NLT version Bible. So God, yours are the only standards. Help us to live by them alone. When I am in the wrong, give me the kind of friends who will hold me accountable. And when I am aware of the sin of a sister or brother, grant me the confidence and conviction, not of my own righteousness, but of yours to do the same. Holy Spirit, I cannot do this without you. It is so much easier to tolerate transgression, to worry about just my own sins, but you ask for more than that. When I need it, fill me with the conviction, gentleness, and humility to hold those I love accountable. And let me do so in a way that honors both them and you. Who can you humbly and gently help today? That's a tough one because, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just uh, think on that one. <laughs> All right. I mean, I see where they're coming from, but... um. Anyway, okay, so that's all that I have for this uh, video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed drinking your coffee or whatever it is you're drinking this morning while you're sitting back relaxing and um, seeing what all I've been up to. And I will update you guys. Um, you know, I've got my brother-in-law's blanket that I just bought some worsted eight yarn for. And um, so I'll update you on the progress of that blanket, this granny blanket, and uh, coming soon, the Christmas blanket. So, yeah. Oh, and I got an email from Annie saying that their um, Halloween um, magazine, the one that we all bought last year and we loved so much, a bunch of us have. Well, they have another one out. So, I'm anxious to get started uh, looking at it. But, you know, I think that it is not just crochet. I think I saw it had quilting and other things in it. So, I'm going to have to take a deeper look into it. I just got an email yesterday, so I haven't had time to go on their website and look. But I hope it's as good as this one that we all have been working out of because there is so much in that spectacular Halloween book that I'll probably never get everything made. There's so much goodiness in that book. So, anyway. All right. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.